Hey everybody! Welcome back to Everything You Want, Nothing You Need. Where's the fanfare? <laughs> Where's the fanfare? Uh, that, that, that's hey, that's, like, that's you knocking. Wanna, you want to hear the sound of one hand clapping? What the hell? That's that's disturbing. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> Mine's like that. It's like <laughs> flappy skin, but it's not that loud. Is this? I just it's just like I'm waving in my. How my strong are your fingers? Is this ASMR? <laughs> oh, you never seen no. The Simpsons? <laughs> Didn't know we were starting 2019 out with one hand clapping. Oh yeah, happy 2019, everybody. Happy 2019, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. You're the gamer, they say. Yeah, this is actually year yeah. of the gamer. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> For the 40th year in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag rise up. Uh, yes. How do you do that? That's that might be trademarked. <laughs> I don't Atlanta know. Atlanta Falcons might own that. They're coming after our ass. <laughs> well, that's okay. I I don't fear football man. <laughs> Falcons gamers. Football man is not smart enough to play video games. <laughs> but uh, there's an entire <laughs> how how are my fellow gamers? <laughs> we're good, pretty I'm good. good. Yeah. Uh, well, it's the first as we're recording this. Uh, it's the, it's the first day of 2019. We're doing a podcast. I wish I was home. I over. was. How many will we do this year? Probably just this one. But hope save, for two, man. Maybe two on a good day. I don't know. Savor it. But uh, we we got we got Danny and Danny today, yeah, which is interesting. We we actually did a podcast back in December. Uh, we don't talk about it. <laughs> it's an it's an right, in, it's like, a it's a it's a oh know. wait what <laughs> they're having they want Danny fight. and Danny they're are going to fight to the death. They're having a shank off. <laughs> but uh, uh, it's an internal company secret. The podcast of December, <laughs> and we'll leave it at that. Um, but yeah, so what? So Christmas was what a week ago now. That's yeah. crazy. That's why I keep forgetting. Every time it always happens, like, oh yeah, New Year's is like five days away from. I Christmas. keep sitting here and I'm like, what's Christmas? <laughs> oh wait, that already happened. Yeah. Man, because I, I missed the Christmas spirit train. Like, Jeez. I never got into it. Santa Claus must have given you cold this year. No, I got <laughs> good stuff. Bah humbug. This was the first year I was genuinely excited to get socks and shirts. Like, I was genuinely ah oh, sweet because I need. Yeah. Yeah. It's been the last like three years for me. I guess I just see socks. It's I know, got it's a know, bulk of t-shirts. I think it's after we became adults cool. and have responsibilities. <laughs> um, what y'all what y'all get game wise? Nothing for I got a Watch Dogs two statue. <laughs> from Did my you mom. shove it into your system and try to play it? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got a my mom. I just like my mom's like, what do, what do you want? I'm like, I don't know what I want anymore in life. Yeah, in I'm at general. that point. And my dad figured that out like a while back because he was like, I never know what to get you, so he would just give me money. Like mm-hmm. in advance, he'd be like, "You can't open it till Christmas, but just <laughs> go buy whatever you want." Because I don't know what to get you anymore. And I was like, "That works. That's fine by me." Yeah, I just got money. Yeah. What'd you get, Danny? I was gonna say, my dad got me like gift cards and money. Same. My mom got me like clothes and. So you remember those Krabby Patty gummy gummies? Yeah. Like she got me like a b- whole bag of those. I remember I was dumb That's as a awesome. kid because I tried to because you're supposed to eat it, the pieces. Yeah, you know, one at a time. I no. tried to like bite into it like a burger. That's what I did too, because it's a goddamn <laughs> right. Patty. I'm like, oh yeah, it's like a gray mate, and then you, it doesn't work. No, I didn't I know mean, that was how it, it works. It does. So you can if you, you just have. Oh, patience. you talking about those Japanese little candies? <laughs> it basically, yeah, it's, it's basically. Like, I legit yeah. thought Except you're supposed like to put them together. Like Americanized because it's SpongeBob. I didn't know until mm-hmm. now that you weren't supposed. But to. But I chewed them and I was like, oh, this is terrible because I'm chewing like four gummies at once. Well, I enjoyed it because I just imagined I was eating a Krabby Patty and that's all I needed. It don't taste like no juicy hamburger. I can tell you that much. What did happen was funny though. Is like me. My sister, we were like, all right, like my sister was like, all right, mom's talking about like AirPods all the time. And she was like, let's split again her something. I'm like, this is gonna be a waste of money, but fine. Just that may, that means I don't you're not, to- you're not an AirPods guy? No, okay, so that's the funny thing is like I just my mom is scared of technology. She like I bought her uh, I think I told you the story where like I bought my mom a Roomba a few months ago and like I I, I just sent it to her because I live in Tallahassee. I sent it her to Amazon Prime and was like, Oh yeah, here you go. And then I came and visit like for Thanksgiving. I was like, Hey, where's the room I bought you? She's like, Oh, it's in the closet. I was like, don't you use it? It's like, no, because then what am I gonna do? So, <laughs> oh. so then I, so no, I have a room in my apartment. Technology but, will replace me. Exactly. So, so like, uh, but funny enough, like come Christmas Eve, because in like Mexico we like Noche Buena, like Christmas Eve is the real mm-hmm. thing, and then mm-hmm. like Christmas Day is just you just chill and enjoy oh. your presents. I actually didn't know that. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, uh, That's how my family does it. I don't, we always I've do. heard we're the whitest family in town. <laughs> I'll challenge that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like uh, my sister and me got my mom AirPods. My mom got me AirPods, and uh, <laughs> so my it was mo- a very AirPod Christmas. Yeah, and my mom got also my dad AirPods. So like well, every- enough with my gift card to Best Buy, I'm gonna go buy some AirPods. So. Uh, I would say, uh, I mean, they're nice and all. Don't get me wrong, but like. The battery life isn't as long. It's like three 
three hours. Or something. It's three hours, and and then like you put it in the thing, and then that's an extra two hours. But mm-hmm. then they have to be in the thing, yeah. the, and. I mean, I guess you don't run, <laughs> but oh, I, guess wow. I, I run to the bathroom Ooh. in the fridge. Uh, I guess I, no, we talked about this. You talked about how you don't run. No, yeah, you ain't wrong. <laughs> yeah, so like, because I, I tried to run- change that this year. I won't, but I should probably I, should. I, try, I tried uh, running with them, and they, like, the uh, Apple things just don't stay in my ear, but they're great for just like sitting and just like lounging around. Yeah, lounging around. And like, it's amazing. It's just like, Apple's really like that's like the thing they went back to like it just works so like I just yeah. I don't have to pair it I don't have to do anything I just pop it on yeah that's why you mentioned like your money big with technology the, the whole idea of them is you just open the case and it just connects Apple exactly. would really go with that just like yeah. everything just everything works just fine. works mm-hmm. just yeah. works yeah until that company decides they don't support Apple and macOS <laughs> and then it doesn't work at all but when it works <laughs> it, it works. works yeah <laughs> if you do the thing and you do it right and you don't mess up it just I gonna say like they like their their marketing is just amazing <laughs> because like they just convince an, an entire group of people that another phone is inferior because of the color of the text messages. Like like I like I have a friend that like she will not date a guy if he has an Android because she doesn't like I told the my green bubbles. If she got an Android, I would dump her. <laughs> yeah, see, what? like that's kind of stupid. Like it's like dumb thing. I'm saying that ironically, but the reality yeah. is there is a difference than just the color. There <laughs> is a it's a much faster messaging system. It's because it I uses it, it, because it uses internet versus uh, the yeah, traditional so, SMS so as towers. As long as you have Wi-Fi, as long as there's Wi-Fi, you can text another person of that. I the, use with text. Words and then if the words send, I'm happy. See, but like that's, that's a, I'm so <laughs> simple man <laughs> with just a text message. Well, I like I, words to be seen by people. <laughs> I like I like like I really I really want the Google Pixel three, but like I just know too many people overseas and in different countries that like I like and they're like. Uh, oh, I use WhatsApp. Oh, I use Slack here. Oh, we use this mm-hmm. company. I'm like, I don't want to download all these different apps to talk to these people. Like, oh, all of you have iPhones? Okay, fine. I'll just use iMessage. And all I need is an internet connection. And then yeah. that's easy. Or so. you just get Skype. Best. I, I don't want to download anything. <laughs> I don't want to download anything. No one should be downloading Skype for anything. What year is it? <laughs> like, oh, you should use Skype. I thought it was 2009, isn't it? <laughs> I thought it was 1999. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> what <laughs> nine are we in? I was just breaking my neck at Walmart <laughs> playing the N64. 1999 was 20 years ago. Don't say that. Don't say that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shut, up. Shut up, Danny. That's it. Like, it's Holy not shit. the 80s. When you say 20 years ago, it's not the 80s anymore. I, yeah, no, I hate it when I'm like, oh, the, the 70s. That was like 30 years ago. I'm like, nope, that was 50 years 2018 ago. 2018 is 21 years ago now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you, realize, you realize in 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 one year, the 90s, at least a part of it, will have been 30 years ago. Yeah. Like, hey, that's oh. not okay. In a year, it'll be the roaring 20s. Hell yeah, bring on the Great Depression. Bring on another world war. <laughs> but time for a new one. <laughs> Dan was going to say, bring up a wall. <laughs> uh, no, let's not go there. Uh, let's not go there. Uh, Thomas isn't here tonight. Turn, God. turn the camera off. Then I'll, then I'll talk about it for an hour. Uh, that could be a whole podcast. You want the controversial podcast? That's on Patreon. You can go to oh, Patreon. You, you definitely want to watch that. Seven and, you know, support the podcast. Uh, but back to uh, the topic of video games, because last I checked, we, I think we're supposed to talk we're about video games. We talking about Christmas gifts. And then to be fair, yeah. Wait, I don't know so what happened. We were that talking about Christmas gifts that were supposed to be video games, but oh, wait, none wait, of us got wait, video yeah, game Wait, yeah, what presents. did you get? What did you get? Cause I got money. Just that's, that's I got money. <laughs> well, I got money. Hey, guess what that money's going to go for? Video games. Video games. I got video game related stuff. Like, my mom got I'm going to say, yeah. Like, so what happened with my, my, my mom was she was like, just tell me everything that you like <laughs> and give me some websites to use and I'll buy things for you. Was your mom the one that goes into the store and she's like, I'm looking for a Nintendo. And they're like, well, which one? The Nintendo one. There's more than one? Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, Is PlayStation a Nintendo? Well, she didn't want to go oh, no. anywhere. So she's like, just give me some websites. I'll buy it online <laughs> or through Amazon. And I was like, okay. So I, I, I gave her, because I do like Watch Dogs. So I was like, okay, okay. Ubisoft website. For I don't the, know why you like Watch Dogs, but sure. Oh, wait, okay, like wait. Watch Dogs. Yeah, watch Dogs 2 or Watch Dogs 1? I, I have a soft spot for Watch Dogs 1. Oh, wait, 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 like, watch Dogs 1, but I know it's a piece of garbage. See, you're <laughs> just saying it. He had a stroke right now. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, he's laughs> he knows he's not supposed but to say that. Watch Dogs 2, actually pretty good. I was going to say, so okay, so down. like oh. I completely missed the train on like Watch Dogs 1. Like I I like I was like, okay, that, I don't know what it is. Then like Watch Dogs 2 came around, and then like I heard like it was a hacking game, and I was like, wait. Do I need to know Watch Dogs 1? Oh, Not really. They, they made and sure they, they dropped it, that series dead. It was so... Yeah, Watch Dogs 2 is like easily... It's one of my favorite Wait, games ever. If they really try to drop five. it dead, why would they name it 2? <laughs> Being named Dan is a connection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I love that stuff. 
I just love that like whole like concept of. <laughs> I love the whole concept of just like a Who's like that? hacker. Ask yeah, him. Okay. What he put his hand right there, and I was like, oh okay. <laughs> he's, 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 he's a squash. Danny gets lonely. He takes any chance of intimacy. He can get. That's what I do. Uh, love that was alone. the first one contact I had in like years. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's with another Dan. Does your family not say they love you? They don't. They don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. That oh, what are those kind of families? They always said it on opposite day. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, tell me about it. But they buy your presents, so it, like, that's what really matters. Yeah, I got a bunch of game shirts. Uh, it was pretty cool. I think I, the only game I got was I got Bayonetta 2 for Switch because ooh. that game has consistently been 60 bucks. Uh, yeah. But with the Amazon gift card, and I got lucky, it was actually on sale for 49 And I was like, that's the cheapest I've ever so seen you it. Also Wait, you, uh, Bayonetta 1 with a 2, right? Yes. I've, I played one, though. I haven't. Oh, okay. I had, I actually, I have two on the Wii U, but I've packed that thing away and it ain't coming back out. <laughs> and so I was. I remember uh, somebody uh, posted yeah. a screenshot of uh, on Twitch of uh, when uh, Smash Ultimate came out. Uh-huh. How many viewers uh, Smash Four had? It had four total viewers <laughs> on Twitch. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, that, that's what's dead. Yeah. So um, that's the only game I got, and I just got a ton of Blu-rays. Yeah. What uh, Blu-rays? I wanted like an '80s Blu-ray binge. <laughs> Hell yeah! Like, you know, like Caddyshack and Mrs. Doubtfire. That was '90s, I think. No, yeah, uh, it was. Um, what else did I get? Uh, the Ghostbusters. One and two, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The new Ghostbusters? Or no, the old Ghostbusters? first two. No, no, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trilogy, the live action one. Nice. <laughs> I got. Uh, Is that the one that has the, like the girl uh, uh, turtle? They have like, girl turtle. There, there, girl turtle. There was a girl turtle, and like, no like I don't the, remember that one. I forget what it was. Like they just did something like, "Oh yeah, this is how you're supposed to know she's a girl." I think they just like put her in like a bow. Uh, yeah. Like oh, I got. Day, let's see. I got uh, Groundhog Day. Ooh. Bill Murray. Uh, Wayne's World, Blues Brothers, oh the Vacation movies, all the Vacation. Hell yeah! Movies. Christmas Vacation is my favorite. That's the Back to the Future movies, Caddyshack. Okay, yeah, that was about it. Let me know how the director's commentary is for the Back to the Future because like that's the only reason. Like the only reason I buy physical media is because the director's commentary I buy it or something I don't like that. Netflix because one day you wake up and your favorite thing is just gone. Yeah, one day the I always think one day when the apocalypse happens, I don't have a single song to listen to because I have Apple Music. Right, like yeah, one day they're just gonna <laughs> pull the plug and that's it. And one day the zombies will come out and then Apple will sit on the servers and be like, oh fuck. I still yeah, I still don't trust digital. It's purely on the fact that they can pull the plug at any time on some some, some yeah. things. To be fair, though, like I think, like I was talking about this to somebody with uh, physical media for games, mm-hmm. and they were saying, and like, it, it, like yeah, like because when you're buying something online for like like so, I bought uh, the Spyro and Crash Bandicoot uh, the trilogy, the, 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 the whole combo pack for like yeah. seventy bucks, right? It was it was, no, was, was, was forty five. Yeah, it was oh, shit. yeah, that's the thing. It, like, huh. Yeah, it's like a yeah, it's like cheap because it's still like Christmas, and so like it, I got that for forty five. Then I got really drunk and bought uh, the Lego Star Wars and uh, Avengers with like the and expansion packs. Those are good games. Okay, those I, games I, are that's, good, that's good to hear. Those are good games. Because that's good to hear. Because like I like woke up and looked at the receipts. I'm like crap, I spent fifteen bucks on this. I hope it's good. What's it like just have money that you can accidentally spend? If I try to, to be fair, money, okay, it won't go through. My <laughs> will be like, you have no money. So, okay, to be fair, this is America. Credit card, pay for something you don't need with money you don't have. He's right. But He's that, smart uh, man. I like. I do have like. Like just like my PayPal is like I don't have my bank connected to it because like it's a lot easier like if something happens to it or again I get drunk then it's a lot easier to pay off a credit card than it is to Danny I think you need pay to remove PayPal from your phone. <laughs> is what you need to do. I do because I, <laughs> oh, I think you need to stop buying things when you're drunk. It's such a concern. You're uh, drunk, or, 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 guys, we, we could just we could just go through the problem and it's just alcohol. Uh, <laughs> Take the phone. But to be fair, alcohol. He's gonna call. No, he's just gonna go on Amazon and spend a hundred bucks. Uh, uh, to be fair though, like I like last time uh, last time that did happen i bought like like a shoe rack and like uh what? like a shower curtain because i've been taking i like i i'm not kidding there was two months where like i just showering like without a curtain or without anything i was oh, just so you need so drunk you buy things you need yeah exactly don't feel bad for this guy <laughs> <laughs> this guy made a kid sleep on the floor at holiday matsuri i i did not make him no okay so no, but you all chose right, so, to sleep in the middle okay, so, of the couch uh, <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> okay, so the, the, the uh, holiday Matsuri was what was that two weeks ago? About three weeks ago. Now. Three weeks ago. Okay, so which is very fun, by the way. We loved it. Yeah. So you you told us that it was going to be two bad, two bad, or two, two beds. Two beds. Yeah, but they it's a hotel, they, so obviously they, they messed it up. Me and it was one bed and a pullout couch. To be fair, it was a king size bed. I if your girlfriend wasn't there, I would have slept in that bed, like. <laughs> 
Yeah, and it was kind of funny because we were at the point where Dylan was on the floor. You stole the whole couch. Okay. Me and my girlfriend are in the bed. And then we were, we were talking about it. We're like, what if Ian shows up? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's Ian going to do? Okay, but to be fair, I... Double it's comfy. <laughs> I told I told Dylan uh, I was like like I'll, I'll, I'll like I'll move over and he said no it's fine and he just went on the floor so I'm like all right cool and then I can't control myself when I, I, I woke up at two a.m. and I'm like I look over and I see Danny and I look down <laughs> and I see Dylan on the floor and I was like why is he on the floor? okay and then he was snoring real loud and I was like. Yeah, he's okay. Okay. He's okay. In my defense, when I started sleeping, I slept. I gave him as much room as he wanted, like as he could have taken. Like if he decided, all right, screw it, I'm going to sleep on the bed. I can't control myself when I sleep. Just like, I, like you know, most I, people can't control themselves when they sleep. Exactly. Unless they're sleepwalking. And even then, they're usually not in control. Yeah. Usually. <laughs> Just, you ever had sleep paralysis? Yeah, I've heard, I've heard I've that a never, few times in college. I think it's like a myth. It's like a myth. I've never had it. But I see all these memes about, oh, there's the demon I see in the corner when I get to sleep. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I've never had sleep paralysis. I never had it until college. And I think it was like just due to constant stress, probably. Because it was during my final project. Mm-hmm. So there was moments where I'd wake up and be like, why can't I do anything but just stare at the ceiling? It was like, <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah, it's like you try to just move any type of limb you can. But then your body just like, nah. I think if I had sleep paralysis, I would just be forced to watch Danny wander around aimlessly. <laughs> Like in L.A. <laughs> Buying things. That happened By the way, for those of you frequent listeners, I know that's all three of you, the Danny that Ian and I make fun of on a regular basis that gets lost all the time, that one. All right, to be fair, You're I don't get lost. You're the legend? He's the legend. I don't legend get 27. lost. Okay, in L.A. I did. Like, <laughs> okay, I was going to say. Okay. I don't but, get lost, I get well, found. Well, the time, and, but one time I don't regret. Like the one, because, like, I so... We left. I, I, y'all left Chick Fil A. I left, and I just didn't think anything of it. I just went the wrong way completely. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that was the only time I got lost. But it was so worth it because I got to see two homeless people like MMA style fight. And like, like I don't know what it was, but like, but all of a sudden I just hear like, I ain't scared of you. I was in Vietnam, and they're like, Yeah, I was in Desert yeah. Storm, and then Desert Storm beat that ass. Like he just like <laughs> slapped like. Beat him down. It was amazing. <laughs> and I was like, I love L.A. When, 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 when it, uh, in the trip was this? What day was it? I don't remember. It was like, uh, but it was one of those times when, like, I mean, we went to Chick Fil A. Yeah, I was gonna say. You, you about to say it's like it was one of those times we went to Chick Fil A. I'm like, we went Chick Fil A every day. One day we get a sponsorship from uh, Square, the, the tile <laughs> company. And we'll just put a tracker in his pocket <laughs> and at all times. Like, hey, where's Danny? Oh, uh, uh, let me look at. Oh, cool. He's three miles down the road. How do you end up over there? Yeah. I mean, just get like a dog leash. <laughs> yeah, no. We, we, like, they have the kid leash. It's we thought about backpack. it. We, were like, I was like, we thought we were going to put him in a stroller or like something. Like, they have the, the fun kids' backpack that has like a leash on it so the yeah, kids run yeah, around. Yeah, that's what we thought we were going to do. It skanks them back whenever they go too far. Don't get, don't get too close to Grant Kirkhope. You'll scare him. <laughs> don't, don't scare the composer. Yeah, but I feel like the only, like the main reason y'all noticed that like I wander a lot is because we only had one key for five people. Yeah, in, in LA, I wasn't a fan of that. Yeah, that kind of sucked. And like I somehow ended up with it half the time. But you're so I think right now it's on the table. We're all going to. E- Are you going to E three next year? I'm still debating. Well, actually, it. I should say I'm sorry. It's January first this year. You going to E three this year? I'm Six still debating away. it. Still debating it. I don't. Think I want to go to GDC this year. Is That's it? A, is it okay? Okay. So I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll figure it out. You should be I, say, like, I can tell. I can say I've yet to regret my decision of going to E three. Like, mm-hmm. like the experience overall has been great. There's obviously kinks that they have to work out, but a little kinky. At, it's I, I, not at one moment have I like. Usually when you go on a trip and everything, you have like these like the first day or so where you just look at your bank account. I'm like, man, I could have like extra thousand dollars on me or something. But well, see, whenever I go to E3, I'm just like, I want to go back. Well, and that's what's smart is now is like now I know because the tickets are going to go on sale in like a month. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now's the time to save up. Now's the time to like prep for the uh, more mm-hmm. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like if I'm I hoping I can get a press pass this year, I should probably go home after this and write some articles. Uh, I gotta say like <laughs> for me it'll like it'll all depend like. Not like so, like it, like at least with my work. Like, if I say I'm taking this day off, like I'm getting it off, but like I can't just take unpaid time off. Like I have to like, yeah. and I get like 4.5 hours every two weeks. So I, I want to do a video where I'm just like, hey, I'm here at Sony's booth, and we're just out in the middle of an empty field. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here at Sony's booth this year. I will say another thing, like if like it wasn't any different last year. If one more like big company, because like uh, I was watching. The Dude Soup podcast, and they were talking about, like, especially now that they have a lot of peers, they have, like, a lot more insight into the game's media and, like, mm-hmm. how there's a lot of things happening with E3. Like, internally, besides Sony pulling out, 
Oh, like the things internally happening that is one of the reasons pull out kids. why Sony pulled out. Yeah, otherwise you end up with four guys talking like in a podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can this, you, this is the result of not pulling out. Yeah, exactly. But like, yeah. So like, if I think if like one more thing happens, like if like I mean, Xbox kind of already decided to do their own thing. Yeah, they're sort of already have. have they, I, they sort of have pulled out because yeah. I don't know if they paid anything to, <laughs> no. to be where they were. And yeah, to do what they did because the they own. Yeah, because that building is the yeah. Microsoft Theater. Yeah, so I don't. Yeah, well, if, if, Nintendo, if Nintendo decides to start hosting Nintendo Con, which <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them at all. Yeah, in the near future or Bethesda Con, that would sort of. I think that would be the final nail on the coffin for E3. I wouldn't do Bethesda Con. This, I don't know what that room's going to look like this year because it was always Nintendo took up this half and Sony took up the other half. And with Sony gone, it's like, what's going to be there? Is it Sega. Sega. I'd be okay with that. But actually, they, they had their own space. I was going to say, they were kind of like in the back corner. Yeah. And they, they, had, they had a really small... They had a lot of games, but they had a very small space. Um, um, I think if there were a, a company to take it over, I think it would probably be Square. Ubisoft has a big space, too. Or maybe EA can well, take uh, Squ- can make it back in. Oh, that'll, that'll, that'll be the FIFA. That'll be Activision the FIFA could area. take. I, need, I, well, I think I, I think the only way really Square Activision Activision has a huge area too. Yeah. yeah, I think the only way Square would take up uh, that spot if it's uh, like during the conference they do something. They do, so, do, they, do, they do something I hope FF7 related. Really that many games this year where they just take up the whole thing. <laughs> I would you got your that. Metroids, your Yoshi's. Your speaking of which, uh, they should have a direct coming up pretty soon. Though. I think usually they have one in January. Yeah, yeah. The funny thing about Nintendo though is like. Their directs are like, "Hey, we have a direct tomorrow morning," yeah. and it's like, "What? What? How, th- there's no." They always, it, it's always on a Thursday, and they always announce on a Wednesday. See, yeah. I I like that because, especially in the age of the internet, like something leaks or something gets like yeah. ahead, and like you get like so much speculation, you, your expectation gets built up so much, and then the actual thing comes, and you're like, "Yeah." Eh, That's why I don't okay. really follow leaks that much because I don't like either if if they're telling the truth, then I get spoiled. If they're not, then I get too excited. Yeah. On Twitter right now, I have every Kingdom Hearts related term blocked and muted mm-hmm. because I don't I don't want to see anything. About Kingdom Hearts right yeah, now. Yeah, no, 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 I, I know I, the spoilers are out there. Not only that, I've, I, I myself have stopped watching the trailers for a good amount of months now because there's no reason for me to watch it. Because any any type of trailer I watch, it's going to have some spoiler. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little so bit, I, yeah. I, 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 I'm already bought on the game. I'm already going to play it, so there's right. no reason to watch it. I don't need what's to the, hype myself what's up the more. Date? 28th? 29th. 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 Okay. Tuesday. Okay. It's coming. It, it's such a weird thing. Days, to think about. In 28 days, we're all going to be crying. Grown men everywhere. Dude, I well, cried at E3. Not like me. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it E3 works. will make you cry. I don't think like, it works. I, I, I watch it. Speaking of E3, let's talk 2019. Let's talk 2019 game predictions. Okay. Either either announcements or things that were previously announced that you you think will be released this year. I think just, <laughs> uh, uh, you have something you're like, oh, this is definitely something we're, that's already confirmed. We're gonna hear something about FF7 remake. Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Back, See, I, that, that's because, what I was going to yeah, say. Because what they're waiting on is release KH3, right. and after that subsides, and, and, there's, and then they're open. Come they're just going to... I'm going to say, like, if, if that comes up, like, that's what, like, I feel like Square can take over Sony's spot, and, like, they no, can, that's what I'm yeah, no, it, they it, can take over that. If FF7 is at E3... Ian, Ian I'm already out of breath. Just, He'll break into the building to just go. I, play. you know what? I, I, I'll, I'll be like, we like those one dudes uh, the first year where that broke into E three, dressed as security. <laughs> oh yeah, was, they, it, was it two years ago? Yeah, well, that was. Oh, yeah, they, did you hear about that? They they disguised themselves as convention center staff as like waiters, I and they do. dressed up and they literally just walked into the building. See, I'm gonna say you you make it sound like more man. Oh my god, you said yeah, yeah, basically you make it sound more elaborate. Like like the the ones that I heard, like they literally just put on shirts that said security and they just walked in. <laughs> no, I heard uh, I heard they dressed up as waiters. No, 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 not I, I know which ones you're talking about, but uh, I'm talking like oh the ones I guess they may not have gotten caught, but like uh, I don't know, <laughs> like they literally just put on shirts that said security. I don't know. I couldn't fly out all that way. And not have a hundred percent guarantee I'd get in. Like I, I could not chance that. No but way. I think the one thing I'm most curious about is, uh, is Last of Us Two going to come out? Like, yeah. So far, like at this year, like how they did Last of Us One originally when I, it came out. Well, the last year I thought they were hinting at like some Banjo Kazooie DLC for with, Last of Us. Yeah, with that opener, with the, <laughs> the guys sitting playing a banjo for ten minutes. Girl. No, I think with the Last of Us was guy. Oh no, the guy. Oh, no, with the, the, the guy was a like, yeah. Wait. Oh yeah, because that weird E three, the E three weird thing the, where they like had the all pre- the, the opener. Yeah, they just had a. Was it a guy? Or, I don't remember now. There was a few. Different, there was someone just yeah. playing a banjo for ten minutes, and I was like, "Oh, was cool, we're getting." Banjo. I, I think I banjo think Last of Us is going to have like a Twilight Princess uh, type of treatment where it's going to come out 
on both PS4, on PS4 and PS5. Whatever. From what I've yeah, and Elio turned to a dog. Yeah, <laughs> from what I've heard, it sounds like Yoshi, the new Yoshi game, is supposed to come out around spring. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that'll probably be announced in January. Uh, Persona Five R, R? Is yeah. It? yeah, Persona Five R. What's that even mean? Uh, Red. Uh, I don't know. Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption. Persona Five Red Dead Redemption. Uh, but that, that's <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna be like the Persona Four Gold. It's, yeah, it's a, I think it's gonna be that. Um, that's getting. Switch we're getting version? more info on that in March. March. Um, yeah, I think that's the Switch port too. That's what well, I, mean, I haven't talked about the Switch, but like, people are rumoring it. Well, well it, yeah, it they makes, got a character. Makes sense with with Joker and Smash. I mean, yeah, because that's the thing. Why else would he be on there if they're not going to announce? Like, why would you have a character? S- say you only owned a Switch and you love Smash Brothers, you have no reference for Joker. You have no. I mean, same thing with Snake, I guess. Yeah, really. But it's what's Sora Snake in the old games? Cloud. No. But, but, but Snake, um, Metal Gear started on NES, so I can see that. Yeah, there was a previous relationship there. Yeah, yeah there was a previous relationship. It, 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 Persona, now, granted, the original Shin Megami Tensei was also on Persona. Yeah, also, it's been up to like 3DS, also Persona Q and all the, that. Persona, yeah, there are some Persona games. Yeah, the, the, none, none of the mainline games are on Nintendo right. systems. But. Yeah, so yeah, but that's that's that can easily change though. That's everyone's big theory is it's the Switch port, uh, mm-hmm. which would be cool. Speaking I, of ports, I want Final Fantasy VII Crisis port, Crisis Core port to anything. Like I just want other than PSP. Yeah, I want like <laughs> I, I was trying oh, to find PSP. it so bad. No, I don't want it. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Uh, like I, I, I tried to replay it. Uh, I think like a year ago, and I just <laughs> couldn't stand just playing them on the PSP. Such right, bulky because yeah. I'm used to the Vita and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I want you like hear the UMD like spinning the whole time. I'm like, why are you <laughs> <Yeah>. so loud? <laughs> I like you can that. feel it. <laughs> yeah. I love the Stop feeling it. of putting the disc into the, the PSP. I don't I know. Feel like you were that was always a gun. Yeah. 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 That was about all the good. Um, I, 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 th- I think that's. I think we will. I think this is the year where uh, Square will blow their load, F seven style. I really mm-hmm. hope. They, I think Nintendo is missing a big opportunity if they don't do Metroid Four, and not even a release date, but at least a new tra- new info. If it's not, um, if, 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 you, year, if you if you really, if you really like, think about happened? it, okay. So here's here's with same uh, thing with the mainline Pokemon game. Here's a, here's the thing with uh, Nintendo. We've we've already got the Zelda game. We've already got the Mario game. We've already got the Smash. Got Smash. Give What's me next? Zero, and, and, and they're not coming out with a 2D Mario game because they they just ported the Wii U. One. Animal Crossing, uh, we that's know, also big, but we it, know that's I, I, yeah, Animal Crossing is big, but it's not like Zelda, Mario. How's you get like hardcore, like extreme pumped for Animal yeah, Crossing? Like, <laughs> like, like, well, yeah, they are. You know, it's just Animal Crossing is very kind of niche, yeah. in a way, but it's still it's still a very big niche. I would say that, but it's I not. really want. Um, I was tempted to get Starlink. Just because I, I'm concerned they're not going to make a new Star Fox game. <laughs> I've so heard that's a lot of good about Starlink. I, I, honestly, I, th- I think they're going to do a thing. S- I don't know if it still is, but it was on sale for 30 bucks. I think uh, it's going to do a thing I where... I was asking you guys about that the other day. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. Was thir- it's usually a $70 bundle. It was $30. It comes like a toy. Yeah. Like. Now, what's interesting is if, if you're like me or somebody who they either don't care about the toys mm-hmm. or you just the last thing you need is more stuff taking up space, the digital version... Still has all the ships and components. Really, you don't need the physical. Yeah, that's what I was told. Is there the digital version? You don't need the toys. I, I'd, I'd buy that one then. Yeah, yeah. so I'm I'm gonna look into that version. Uh, yeah, and I can see themselves like. But that it, one's on sale. It got it, that one was uh, like critically, it did well, uh, yeah. and everything. And I think it, they'll, they'll probably do a thing where like, oh hey, you know how to make a Star Fox game? Come make a Star Fox game for us. Yeah, it's also it's an Ubisoft. Game though, so that's yeah. It's well, that's you know what I'm saying. But, but, but they can hire the, the studio. It's just like yeah. it's like they, they totally haven't worked together the, before. The last three yeah, years, they, they did Mario Rabbit. Ubisoft and Nintendo have just become the yeah. best of friends. Mario and Rabbit. Mario happened. and Rabbit. Yeah. 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 I, I think and I think what happened was that they were so uh, tight with uh, with Sonic, and then Sonic just decided to show his true colors and be crappy. Yeah, and then there's like oh, we, so we, so we, we need be, another. To be fair, Sonic. It's not that he is crappy. He's exactly what he has been. All this time, except for Sonic Unleashed, which God, like that—that that was just a mistake. Sonic Unleashed was great for fifty percent of it. Yeah, uh, the, the I, part where you're not. I like, I like the Sonic sections, not the. Uh, Sonic's interesting because I still feel like he's trying to find his footing in 3D for like the last like fifteen years. Yeah, <laughs> he's been trying to figure that out. No, See, I he found say, it in Sonic Adventure too. It's he still, found yeah. it. It's and then they were like, ah. Well, yeah, I, 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 would say, I would say that, but then now that I play the game, I would say I like twenty five percent of that game. Which reminds me, yeah. uh, <laughs> today actually, the director from Sonic Adventure announced. He's interested in remaking Sonic Adventure. Was remaking or remastering? It was, it, was a, remaking. it was an interview where like someone asked him, like, how do you feel about the old game? And he was like, oh, yeah, it was pretty neat. Yeah, but 
I hope it, Bill it's, it's very, takes that. I think it'd be cool to rebound, sir. Okay, yeah, no, say, it's, it's very not a. It's the thing of its time. It's it has not held up well. Asia. Yeah, I was gonna say I was watching. Uh, like, like whenever I play Sonic Adventure Two, the only thing I do is play uh, uh, City Escape and yep. then Middle Harbor. See, that's that's the, the only stage. I, I can go back. I can go play. Go for the jungle one. I can go play Final Fantasy Six. I can go play Super Mario World, Mega Man X. I can go play all these eight like, bit, but, yeah, yeah, sixteen bit games, just, and they look fine because they were simplistic and they were two D. You look at any three D game now from the nineties. Any PS one game, PS two game. It's kind of rough. I, <laughs> I, I, especially with after the remake, go back and look at the original Spyro. Yeah, it's it's hard to look at. It, you, I used to think, oh, it's a simple, very nice aesthetic. It's a great looking game for. It, it's it, a, it, it looks like it's Bubsy three D. Yeah, you look at it now, and I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, you, well, you, I played happened? that. They only have, like, three polygons that they can use. It's just the same three polygons. Yeah, like. no, it's it's terrible. And and unfortunately, I think every 3D game at some point is going to reach that. See, it's funny you say well, that. They remaster a lot of 20 yeah. years from now, we're going to look at PS4 games. Like God of, we'll, we'll look at God of War 20 years from now and be like, why does this look so primitive? Why so, does this look so garbage? It's, it's funny. I don't you, think we will. It's hard to believe that. I don't think we will. I think it'll still look good, but right not as good as what it's But that's the time. thing. We don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, we don't because well, we, we don't know where we're going to. The future we're is untold. To. It's funny you say that though, but like, God, well, the new God of War remaster hate, comes out. <laughs> we got a God of War <laughs> 4K remaster. Modern years, day, and, yeah, the modern <laughs> gods. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it's funny you say that because I I hate myself so I go on like the Re- uh, Reddit a lot and I, I, I just hate myself but I don't punish myself on Reddit. I, I gotta like say Reddit. like I like Reddit like the spiral Are subreddit we the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, like we're, uh, we'll, 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 we'll give you guys some time after this. Merging, what are we doing? <laughs> well, like just like it's funny because like yeah like inher- inherently it, looking back at it it's like. Yeah, the original Spyro doesn't like looks wise does not hold up, but like when the remasters came up, Spyro Subreddit was like, "This looks awful. They completely ruined it." Blah blah blah. And like, y'all are such a bunch of babies. Like people are like so insensitive about ner- oh my nostalgia, my childhood. Like no, like Wait in the fields. People don't remember. Just because something gets remade or modified, it doesn't mean the original thing you love exactly. is there. You. Yeah, you can go that, back that to is, the original. That is thing. the exact point I told people for Anytime. FF Seven remake. It's like, oh, when, 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 oh, yeah, when, before, like, before, before, I, before I saw, the same plot, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, didn't put up the idea of FS7 remake. I'm, I was always like, no, I want it to be completely new, like remake it. Yeah. I don't want you to remat because if I you, don't if want you, just shiny your graphics. Because if I want, it, like, if I want shiny graphics on my FF7, there's PC mods where it yeah. makes it look pretty nice. Or like, yeah, like, like, yeah. like if, if I want, like, I want it reimagined. Like, hey, what if we did it with the playstyle? Like, if they grab Final Fantasy 15. And they tweak the combat and everything, and then just put the FF7. And who's to say when they originally made Final Fantasy VII? I'm sure there were things they wanted to do, and they were at the time they were like, "We can't. We don't have the time. We don't have the limitations. We, we you know, we don't have the budget." Now they're like, "We can remake it exactly mm. how we'd love to." I, it's like just let them do their. Well, yeah, thing. no, the, the, uh, like like just me thinking about it. Like I also want them to like things like the like cinematic moments like that happen FF7 like. I dream mm-hmm. of being able to play like when you get out of the Shinra building and you're being chased uh, when you're chasing and you're going on the motorcycle. Yeah, like I want to play that like in like with today's uh, right technology and everything. I think and, that and that's be the dope. problem too. Is it's just I I think we we definitely I know we've reached this point in Hollywood and I think we're heading there in games as well for the most part. They're running out of ideas. I think for the most <laughs> no, no, no. I I'm starting to see a lot hmm. of it's like yeah it's a, it's that a, game looks just um, like this I game. I disagree this game looks I, d- I, I, I I think it's it's more of like where you're looking at. I'm talking. Yeah. I'm talking triple A. Oh, triple uh, A. Well, um, that, which, which should be. Which are wait, typically wait, he, he, here's your number he, one game. Here's the thing about that though is that like it's not that they're running out of ideas. Is that people don't like new ideas. People say like, oh, I want this new idea. Or, yeah. No, they don't. People. But that's, like, the, that's what I'm saying. Is like I would much rather take a reimagining of Final Fantasy VII in a different light mm-hmm. rather than just a shiny more of the same. Well, because but, it's like well, we've already we have already had it. Well, we're in the minority. Again, though. I, like, I also think about how like uh, was it this year, last year, where the EA boss said how oh all oh, people want to play is multiplayer games and everything, and then <laughs> us <laughs> gamers we rose up and the we gamers rose up and, and and all the big games that uh, were like just big this year all were all single player right. uh, like Fortnite. But here's the, the, here's a catch with that though. I think that none of the people are talking about. Uh, Yes, they're all single player, but how many of those are open world that are like 60, 70 plus hours of gameplay? Mm-hmm. Spooderman. Exactly. Spider-Man, God of War, they're all open world. They're all like a ton of hours. Where right. Something small, like 
Yeah, Order 1886 wasn't that great, but it wasn't like. <laughs> I wouldn't say that the... Out of nowhere. He's like, well, let me just get this out of my pocket. Mainly because it's the only recent game I can think of that was short. Uh-huh. And that was like the main contention point was that it was short. But that wasn't the problem with that game. That game just sucked because it sucked. It didn't suck because it was six <laughs> hours. <laughs> it could, you could always like... I, I bought Inside by Playdead. Uh, made uh, Limbo mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Love that game. It was 25 bucks. It was... Uh, obviously, maybe this is a price thing. But it was it was like good like five hours of gameplay. And I, I love that game to death. Would you spend $40 on an indie game? No. It depends on the indie games. It depends you know on it, 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 uh, which one. Jared Penny talked about it. Monster, Monster Boy. Monster Boy. Oh no. Oh Switch? yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's it's the one where it does. looks really nice. It's hand drawn. Oh it, yeah. It it, it's, it's, it's a forty dollar indie game. I just wonder mm. if it's good. Wait, what's it called? Hey. Uh, Monster Boy. That's the that's kind of like a like reimagining of, of the of the, like of, 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 of the Sega Master it's, System. It's yeah, weird. Uh, Wonder Wonder Boy. Was it was it Wonder Boy? Wonder Boy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Th- that's what it's called on the store. I thought Wonder Boy, not Monster. Well, Wonder Boy. Monster is Boy and like a Curse like Kingdom. The, the original Sega ones. Hmm? Monster Boy is like eight. Is it and a Curse Kingdom? Yes. Okay, I'm looking at it right uh, now. Yeah, it's a forty dollar. Oh, you know, I saw that. I... It looks fun. It looks very well made. It's beautiful to look at because everything was hand drawn. But I'm like, at the end of the day, I'm like, that's a forty dollar indie game. I've never seen. I don't know if I've ever seen a forty dollar indie game. Mm-hmm. I guess it's kind of weird now because uh, games are sixty dollars. I was, uh, actually, I would say No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky was forty that. bucks. Was it? No, it was sixty. Was it sixty? It was sixty at launch. It was sixty at launch. And that's an that's an indie game through and through. It, was, it just got a lot of word and publication. Yeah, it went up there. I'm gonna but. say like even like even Celeste, which is like it was literally a game of the year contender, was twenty, 20 bucks. bucks. Yeah. yeah. I like I, I was just about to buy it and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait. And then like the next day, it was like, oh, it's free with games with gold I, I, on I Xbox. I think the only way to for for you to be able to warrant uh, uh, the price of an indie game being just even over twenty bucks, I think you have to make it like an open world, not open world in terms of like the quality, but in terms of the length. You have to have like. Like, uh, 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 Another thing is also like who made it. Like if you tell me like, oh, these guys from Bethesda or what, like a, bi- a big developer, they said, oh, they quit to do their own thing. And like the people that made this big AAA game, like they made, they quit, quit to work this. I'll be like, all right, depending on who it is and what the game looks like. Yeah, like well, I might me, trust that was, uh, you- pl- that was Platonic with who made ukulele. And then okay. the mixture oh, yeah, yeah. happened. I liked it. Um, <laughs> but I you- did not like it as much as Banjo-Kazooie at all. Um, but knowing that it was the same team, it was the same guys. It has that charm. It, it does have a charm. Sorry it's not as great, you know. but um, like if you really think about it, this is it is not something that's just in the video game industry. This is literally anything in entertainment. Just like uh, think about like music. When band members leave. Oh no 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 not not that I'm talking about like indie and like like you're not willing or go out all your way to like buy like a certain album or anything unless you like truly know that certain uh, publication or artist. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and things as such, it's the same. They have to have a prestige to them. Yeah, there has to be a, like it had to be like and it has to, like it warrants kind of like uh, if like a band were to have a like a stadium, they have they they have to warrant the numbers to be yeah. able to play in that stadium. Right. Things mm-hmm. as such, and, and it's, so it's something that is not with the video game industry. It's the same thing with movies. Mm-hmm. Movies like you don't see any movies like make it up in the big screen unless mm-hmm. they're financially like. A put for it. And yeah. like, it's, like, it's just like what, all these indie movies, like, oh, you'll see them like go straight to DVD or something like that. They're like, Netflix never, now. Yeah, like yeah, it's, Netflix. It's, all, it's all, it's not something that we We're haven't not. figured out as video games. I think it's, that's just something in entertainment in general. I also think it's kind of well, like, that's a boat. Or, <laughs> yeah, right by the coast. Uh, Train whistle goes by. That's a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Any other do you, do you, know like here? you got for us? <laughs> I do. Oh, great. So, um, I haven't checked this in a while, but I do remember looking it up, and games were like sixty bucks back in like the nineties. Yes, which is right, and they're still sixty bucks now. That's yes. what you have to realize. But they increased in like production we, and like we could be what? living. We we should be games are cheaper. Hundred dollar game living world. in a hundred dollar game world. Yeah, but we're not. And it's a miracle that we're not. Well, because people like I think people would stop buying games if they went over that sixty dollar price. And you have to realize. I think it's just because it's set, it's set like a standard, just like how you don't pay more than twenty dollars for like a Blu-ray. Well, and you have to realize for a little while. With things like the Best Buy Gamers Rewards and the Amazon Prime thing, if you pre-ordered it, you weren't even paying sixty bucks. You're paying forty-eight. Like, you, mm-hmm. so, so I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's like I said. Yeah. If you look at it, like so what I, so back to the point I was talking before, it's like same thing with entertainment. Like when you buy a CD, you're not buying a CD that's over not ten, maybe even fifteen dollars. They yeah. use that's usually the range. Yeah, so if I look at a Blu-ray, it's more than fifteen bucks. I'm like, ah, yeah, no, I don't need that bad. Like at least compared to music, I think games have it. Maybe I mean, maybe I don't know what I'm guessing it has, but. 
games cost so much to make, especially for AAA companies mm-hmm. now. Oh yeah. Oh you know the, the, that like usually sixty dollars sixty dollars is like running them dry. Like yeah. that's why they have like EA with like all like the. Well yeah. yeah well uh, they content. only they only make about like if they sell a sixty dollar game they only make about thirty dollars of that. Like yeah. twenty thirty dollars of it. Yeah, too, the rest is like the, like yeah. They, they go. Uh, they gotta go. To the distributors, uh, logistics fees. The problem too is it not. Ju- it's not just expensive to make a game. It's stressful. Yeah, it's years the whole, of work. The whole team is dying to put this thing together to meet the publisher's demand. Well, yeah, yeah no, they, uh, rocks. Right rocks are working hundred hours. I, I think yeah. that's. I, I think that's something that like warrants why people, we like. I mean, these people are killing themselves to put the, make these games, and everyone just wants to say, "Man, I don't want this because it's not what it, I'm like, shut up. The you graphics know. are shiny. You know. The graphics are kind of lame. Yeah. But I think it, a lot of the value is just in in you, I guess. Like I, I could have paid sixty bucks for Inside, and I played it just enough. I played it like over like five or six times. I play it every year, like at least once or twice a year. Mm-hmm. Uh, they even ask me sure. how much I would pay to play FF7 remake. <laughs> uh, and so I, I got my value out of that, and I some really, like intensely enjoy that game. Uh, so I think it's really it's just the value that you. Put I think when the it. seven remake comes out, we're gonna have to do like a police wellness check on Ian once a week because <laughs> no one's gonna see yeah, or hear well, from that boy. That is, I, I think, I think that's the one game. Probably that, uh, other than like maybe. That's a good. Well, there, well, there, there was FF15. And Last Guardian, those are the two games I like. I waited so long for, but FF7 remake, it's Kingdom something Hearts completely four. different. Because it's like, so, because with the FF7 remake, it's kind of like, hey, I'm gonna grab your favorite game of all time, and I'm gonna make it what you've always dreamed of. I'm like, <laughs> sure. Just like the Halo Master Chief Collection, am I right? Hey, okay, oh, uh, well, on, no, that that, 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 is, that is the reason why I got an Xbox One when I did. Oh, there's the there, I mean, Halo Halo uh, Infinite. Mm-hmm. I think that's next gen. No, I, no, I, I think. Okay. Not, but oh. I, I do think. I do think this year we may hear about it. No, no, I, I think. I think. Okay, they may, they may give us something. If we don't, you know if we say? don't, Hello Battle Royale. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, what was I, interesting? Yeah, there they, was a. They interviewed one of the guys from Three Four Three. I think it was a stream. They were just on a stream, and someone asked about that. He was like, "The only BR that's going to be in Halo Infinite is a battle rifle." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like, hey, so they have no plans for it to be. A <laughs> they battle they royale. say that. Like, so, like, I'm. You know, I, I did see that the so BR thing. Big Ben Swift is like, I'm going to lose respect for Halo if it's a battle. I knew, I know, I know what he's saying. I've already lost enough respect for it because it's gone downhill since three. three like I, 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 I would say that and everything, but uh, I, 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 he, he can, he can uh, yeah, speech. Uh, he, 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 he can. Let's talk campaign. Oh, Halo okay, Five campaign. Okay, okay. okay, but to be oh. fair, like I don't know that, and I don't know anyone who like. I mean, I know a couple people actually did like live and die like for the Halo lore. I like, it, it used to be it's yeah. amazing. But, yeah. but the thing for me is like when you put the word infinite on a series, like what do you do after that? It's, it sounds like infinite plus a one thing, service. I thing. think same thing with I Smash. think what they should do since uh, if you really want to, I think they should make a really core like very tight and like driven Halo game, very multiplayer focused. Have a story and just do it like an MMO. Well, you, 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 re- you release expansions and for the story, hmm. and then along with that, with those expansions, you go. So like, it, it could be kind of not like it's gonna be its own WoW or anything, but kind of like concept of like being able. That's what I think they're gonna do, just like, because they were named the Infinite. A weird Telltale style thing where like it has a multiplayer and it has like episodic things that come out. Well, no, I don't think it's gonna be episodic. Like, like I, I think you'll have Halo Infinite as like your Halo Six, like when, when you buy it. Year for Telltale, by the oh wait. Um, <laughs> Hey, they're still releasing Walking Dead. They're still finishing it, but it's Skybound, and I forgot what the other. I'm, I'm real. I was really disappointed when about, they did. You know, how do they? T- what do they do after with the title Infinite? What's Smash gonna do after the title of Ultimate? Ultimate what do you, Brawl. What do you do after that? You just keep porting that to whatever. New I, 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 I would I would say that, out? but then you see things like uh, Marvel's Capcom Infinite, and like you're gonna have to remake that. Well, well you, you, next time they're gonna come out with Infinite. one. Smash Brothers Infinite. <laughs> you can't turn off the system. It just is always on. Smash Brothers. That's Infinite it. characters. Yeah. <laughs> every character in every Nintendo game ever. But yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh. I think this year is gonna be fight as a Koopa. Interesting. Like, okay. We I think do everything it's... you want, we're done. <laughs> and nothing you like, need. What if the next DLC is just like a Koopa Troopa? <laughs> I'd be fucking down for that. I mean, I would be too. But you know how many salty people be like, where's Waluigi? <laughs> I fucking hate that because Waluigi has only been like important in one game. And that's Mario Dance Revolution. <laughs> now I do. He was the bad guy in that, and that's it. I do Every, understand. I, I, uh, this game would be I everything to, you I want and nothing you need. Luigi sympathizers were the stupidest people. <laughs> but I did sort of sit there and realize one day I was like, oh, wait a minute. Daisy is also just a spinoff, minus Super Mario Land, the original, because that's who you rescued. That's very true. We got a plan. Minus that game, Daisy's only in the party game. We got a, and in the we, we got a damn plan. Daisy's cooler, though. 
Daisy is over. Cool. I'm not sure who who can Waluigi. Rosalina's the best, but Daisy's cool too. Well, who can Waluigi echo? No, uh, I, 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 no, I think he's, no, I, I, he'd I, have to be his own. I think he, he'd I think he'll be his own. That's, I think that's, that's the probably issue. Why he won't, yeah, because Sakurai's like, I don't want to design all that. <laughs> yeah, what, what do you think? I, I think they have dancing and tennis. Yeah, pretty <laughs> like much. You're gonna make that to a character. That, that could be his final well, smash. It makes everyone like. Well, honestly, if you, you if you say it like that, you could same thing with Peach. When have you ever seen Peach do a thing other than like well, Super Mario Two? Well, because she's been in a bunch of other. What games, she does, and she's still a prominent character, unlike Waluigi, who just sits in the corner and cries. Okay, we have a freaking piranha plant as a character. Yeah, he's <laughs> been in every Mario game, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, I just I, he I, I, he's just a regular enemy. <laughs> if you put piranha plant, you might as well put a Goomba. He's not piranha plant. Isn't in uh, Sunshine unless you count Petey. Yeah, it still counts. Well, well, Petey, P- Petey's his ultimate, his ultimate smash. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he comes in with the cages. Check his facts. No, I'm saying Drop with the exception point. of Petey, there's no uh, problem though. And, and All right, so uh, back to the uh, Halo. Well, sure, it, it, <laughs> it, 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 it can go to this, but uh, future, I think idiot. <laughs> I think right now we're in the best part of this console generation because usually for each console the best part is like the last two years mm-hmm. of it because that's and when I, everyone's fi- finally figured out how to use, how to it, use what it. they want to do with it before they throw it away <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> so I, yeah, I think uh, like I think last year was pretty great Microsoft for, for already games. confirmed they're working on their next system we, so we know Xbox One. Well, I, I, I think I think Xbox on the side now. They got yeah. Monolith. They got and well, I think I think they're just gonna uh, focus on uh, all the studios they just got. I think they're all gonna focus on. Oh, next, of course, next, they're yes. all gonna because well, well, they, they just recently. There was a big rumor swirl recently where it was gonna be the the it was, supposed, it was still supposed to be an Xbox One, not like a new Xbox, but the Xbox One was supposed to have a new edition. Oh no, the discless that the does discless. not have a disc drive. It yeah. would be digital only. Now. As someone who fixes computers all day, I don't, I don't know if many people realize, you know how big an optical disk drive is? You know how much space that thing actually takes up? Yeah. Fair amount. It's fair amount. Yeah. So I, I'm very interested, if it's, if that's true. How small it's going to be? To see either how small it's going to be or what are they going to do with all that extra retail. And not only that, they if they're going to grab that idea and put it for the next generation. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But I don't um, think it's just because... Uh, now, as someone who's digital... or I'm sorry, not a fan of digital only. It's a little oh, concerning. Not. Uh, because I I don't I don't want to go into that digital only world. I really yeah. don't. I think I, 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 think I, I can't wait for it. No, I, for me, no. I think I think part of uh, playing video games and everything is just going to your local store, getting that game, opening it up, seeing the back. Well, then you but, you, but you, but like now, you got the card, right? <laughs> you buy the the Fortnite V Bucks card. Take it home. <laughs> okay, but like well, uh, besides, you, I mean, you say local store, and like if there was like a local brick and mortar store that like I could go to that wasn't GameStop, that wasn't a big giant corporation. There's no pop shops around. Where? <laughs> I I, I, you. Are you game? I don't live here. Remember, there, there's one. <laughs> well, that's on you. Yeah. Okay, why don't you move there, back? Remember, up here. we went to that. Uh, there was that really cool one inside the flea market we went to, and then like they had a, a branch that was like. Well, the, 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 the cooler one was the one across the street from the. From yeah, the flea it, was, market. it was further across. That's why I spent yeah. like two to three hundred dollars on fucking Final Fantasy nice games. Store. <laughs> now I will say one the uh, the one plus I have for digital is the preloading. Mm. Yes, yeah. because that way when it's midnight on release, you hit start and you're ready. I've never had that work for me. What's that? I, I've done that with two games. I did Alien Isolation when it first came out. Yeah. And I did Watch Dogs 2, actually. And it still, it still does not work. Oh, d- and it the, works. The Watch Dogs 2 was like no, two years it ago. Like, work. it's gotten way better. It probably has, but what so happened what, each what time happens? was that I played it, and it was like, downloading day one update. And I'm like, fuck. Uh, okay, well, that's that's understandable. But at least with digital, you can at least get through the install. Because mm-hmm. nowadays, yeah. every game... Installs on your... you got to well, install it first before you can do the update. My, my, my biggest thing is... Uh, for uh, download only is because I love like going to friends' houses and bringing my games and putting oh, yeah. it. Okay. Like, and it's one of those things like I don't want to bring my whole PS4 and everything and, <laughs> and like put it on there or or what people would say a counter that is just oh just log into your account okay so I have to log into the to a, my account well, to the system the one, and then download the, the whole thing plus to that. the only the only system that I think warns the download only I think is the Switch. Just because yeah. how easy it is to carry and how easy it is to install, you don't have to like. So you're saying either uh, disc only or make systems more portable? No, no. Well, I, I'm, I'm saying that's the only system that I can see myself doing download yeah. only. But I will say, uh, I, 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 I don't. I don't want. In, uh, 2017 holiday month, sorry, he had his PS4 and he had a ton of games to play, but they were all digital. And I realized that was nice because yes, he did have to bring the whole console, 
but he didn't have to log 20 game cases with him. He just had to bring oh, but, but, uh, but, uh, and all the games. But then also to that, we can just go uh, back in time where you just have your own little booklet where you have all your yeah. disc in there. Or where and you can easily carry your game. But then, like, the one thing I don't when like. When you don't have that, then what's the, the other difference? The thing I don't like about digital is I probably had half my Xbox One library was digital. When I go to sell or trade that in, you can't trade that in. It's on it's your account. Not, really. You get no another, value, uh, you get no value out of those. To games. be fair, to be fair, another big. You won't get any value game. depending on the games. You won't get any well, value anyway. But I mean, it's like I can buy a sixty dollars game today digitally, and trade it in tomorrow. I don't get a single penny out of that game. Yeah. Um, now, on the flip side of that, if I ever buy another Xbox One, <laughs> I get all those games back. Um, which is nice. But yeah. Or if you buy the next Xbox, yeah, like yeah, the next generation. Xbox yeah, two. Because yeah. Xbox, are like, like they set the bar. Like, the one thing they did right, and, or... It's backwards compatibility. Yeah, that's the one thing they did right. Like, otherwise, like, because I, I, I'm an Xbox fan through and through, but I I love Same. PlayStation, yeah. but, and, but I'll admit, they destroyed... But I, and, 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 and I think I want you and my friend David Stewart. Oh God, that fucking idiot! Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> David, Whoa. David, you're cool. I'm a ta- I'm, a, I'm sending. Him I'll, I'll, I'll bring it on. Hang on. Wait, what's up? I, I, David is a, a very, very passionate. Wait, 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 no, wait a minute. You said you're an Xbox fan. Okay, but okay. I'm again. I'm an Xbox fan. Okay. But I admit that PlayStation is amazing. Like okay. I admit, like that's the thing. David oh. is a very, very passionate Xbox guy and Xbox only guy. Yeah, that's so the thing. Like just at all. not does not like PlayStation. Really? How, how, how much fun are you having playing all those non-exclusive games? Oh, I I gotta get him on here. Dude, I gotta no, get him on. Okay, here so uh, yeah, the ones out in Lake from Portland. Yeah. We, no, I'm not, I'm no, I think I'm one of those. I can't wait to tag him. Like, it, like you can ask him. I, I, I beat on Xbox like all mm-hmm. the time, like because they just make it easy for me. But yeah, they, but I want them. I want them to be successful because the best thing in any type of medium is competition. Yes. Yeah. Because if they're competitive, like right now, Sony is just like bah. they're like they have like double their sales. Like I think at this point, I think the reason why you only see like crackdown three or something like that. I think Xbox is just. Getting their things together again and like doing What's things right for the next. What's the three, by the way? Oh gosh, that's February. like, February. like February. it comes out next. It's getting pushed. February. I keep forgetting it exists until Terry Crews comes up. Like, what's up? And it's yeah, like, okay, yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> you can play the story right now. Yeah. What? Yeah, you can like preload the story right now. Play oh, the, the story. Really? That's weird. Mm-hmm. About the open world? No, I don't know about Are that. Are they still doing a thing where like you're you like you can destroy the entire city, but you have to like stream the game or something? I don't know about that. I remember uh, being t- like talking I, about that because like, I they had to stream the. I don't know. I remember it was being something weird when they first announced it. I haven't played it since like the first Crackdown. But I, I've been saying for two or three years now the the best thing that's happened to Xbox in a long time is Phil Spencer. He's been amazing. The yeah. man is he he's 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 not a businessman looking to make a buck. He's a gamer who is in a powerful position of a company, you know, focused on games. He's not trying to simply turn profit. He's trying to do what's best for the game. But I will okay, uh, is this not the guy who, <laughs> like, when the Xbox, another reason the Xbox One suffered at first, which they, they uh, at first, when it first came out, there was like, it was like, if, even if you bought a physical media, it would only be, work on yeah, the that one wasn't thing. That, 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 that was Don. Don. Okay, yeah, fuck Don that guy. Was like, was, oh, Xbox One, TV, everyone. The like, yeah, no, no, I, I think TV, no, TV. The, the biggest, the biggest thing with uh, Don, I think that hit the Xbox One in its release is when uh, when somebody asked them. Uh, what what are people to do if they don't have online? That oh, wasn't and, 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 and that wasn't done. That was somebody else. That was oh that was wait, Xbox staff. No, that was Xbox staff. Okay, no, no, that, no, 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 no. But Don Matry, uh, uh said this where he was being interviewed. Oh, if. Uh, uh, we have a perfect product for you. It's oh, Xbox 360. So, yeah, just like, so he was playing. Like, oh, you want a very connection? Oh, we have a product for you. The Xbox 360. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think that like, that's what you want to encourage your people, fan, your, your base to buy, buy your, your new Xbox. product. Yeah. You don't just want to say, "Ah, we don't need you." Yeah, no. Just, so, but that's what I, I think. I think, I think that was a bit fired, I think, rightfully so. Yeah, that's um, that's the guy. Phil Spencer's the new guy. He's been he's been okay. he's been the head of for about two or three years, and he's he's done everything he can to take the sinking ship. Didn't he introduce the whole? Game games the, the backwards compatibility. That's games all pass, yeah. that was, That's all. He also did the games pass where like you pay a few, few bucks a month and you get. Ever since Phil, yes. The ne- since, Netflix for games. Phil yeah, I think I think right now you, you can like it only it's only a dollar you can try for a yeah. month. Yeah. Ever since Phil took over, you haven't heard a word about how your Xbox integrates with your TV. You games. don't hear about because yeah. he doesn't care. It's he he killed he, he probably killed the connect. He's, he's currently dealing with a system that was built upon the idea. Right. He's had to take so, a piece yeah. of crap. And and do do what he can with it. What what is funny Not though? Is, Xbox One's a piece of crap, but it wasn't designed yeah. to what it could. could but have been. what is funny though is the that X like is I think. 
Yeah. What is funny though is that like because like we're like we're talking like like I feel like uh like most people, especially at least the people I watch, like they all go towards like the non physical media, like everything's digital download. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of weird. Yeah. And space. Yeah, space and you know like all the YouTubers and streamers I watch, like they have like families that like they just don't want all that stuff taken up. But it's funny because. That uh, that Don Cuck like a few years ago, he called he called it like he was just like yeah no you'll want this but the thing is he told people this is what you want is all you're before ready. they were ready yeah. before they're ready now if they were to say that like now like if you were to say like like if a developer comes out like oh yeah but this is only digital not physical people would be like. Okay, that's fine. I don't think yeah. I think everyone was like the option of physical. I think that's the key difference. That's okay. I mean, yeah. eventually, like right now, we're still in that grace period where like. If a certain game comes out like only physical, like uh, like Celeste, for the longest time was only indie games are different. Yeah, yeah. different. They, 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 they don't they can't I, warrant I, I having a whole. But that's what I'm saying though. Like we're, we're in the warming period. Like it, yeah. it's sto- like as indies become more and more bigger, or then eventually uh, you'll get a triple A. That's I think I think I digital. Say in defense of digital, I as someone who's a collector, uh, mm-hmm. not just of modern titles, but you know any retro titles, I'm I am getting to that point where. I'm low on space. I was gonna say yeah. I don't have. I've a seen lot your of room. Space yeah. Left. Oh yeah, my room. Yeah, no, no. Th- there's always space. space. <laughs> there's always gonna be space. Yeah. If I whenever I do get into collecting, I'm gonna buy things I actually want. Like even if it's like historical, like. I'm well, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, there's, there's collectors out there that just buy just to buy. Right. Yeah. Like for me, I, all the game, all the games I have in my library. Is because I like them or slash I want to play them. I right. buy what I like. And like I, I just bought the in the Wii. You know, it's just, it's a difference. So I have all the the Burger King uh, <laughs> oh, God. 60 games. Yeah. I gotta borrow those. Right, so so I can let's had my achievement score. <laughs> so score. since we closed down on 2018, what, uh, let's just go around. Uh, what was your favorite games? At least like top three. Oh, okay, you played. Was I supposed to play games? <laughs> I can what say are games. I forgot. <laughs> oh, uh, for me, Spider Man was my first ever platinum, and like I. My boy, <laughs> that one. I genuinely don't know. If I bought a AAA title in 2018, good. I mean, I mean, not great, but <laughs> good. <laughs> I had an issue this year where all I played was AAA. I barely played any indie. It turned out like the end of the year, maybe. Yeah, no, I, I bought, kind of I bought some it. cheap. I don't know, well, and part of it was just coming from financial. Like, you played I, Nintendo I, stuff. That's AAA technically. Well, Super Smash Bros. Okay, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which was you know tail end. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I'm trying to think throughout the rest of the year. I'm sure. Well, my, uh, I did open Monster Hunter World. Uh, yeah, I remember Monster you. Hunter I, World. You bought uh, Monster Hunter World and Dragon Ball Fighters, and and, and you like only played one. Isn't Fighters yeah. really an indie game or no? No, Fighters. You know, it's no. made by Arc System. Okay, they yeah, made, yeah, they yeah, made yeah, right. Monster Dragon Ball Fighters. I got my butt no, in no, Fighters. But no, they're not. I saw that no, they're not they, they, they've, they've made fighting games since the PS One. I know, but I, oh, really? Shit. Yeah, oh, they, yeah. They, they, made, they made Guilty Gear. The Blaze Blue that they make. They make and Guilty Gear. Well, Guilty Gear is the oldest. They make Guilty Gear all the way. They have a breakdown. No, I'll say yeah. one. <laughs> uh, but you said Spider Man's your first platinum. I yeah, know. my first platinum. And then again, even though I'm a like I said, I like main reason I like Xbox is I like uh, the gamer score. Like it's more quantitative of like oh, I did how many games you play. But two of my three favorites of the year are PlayStation exclusive. The second one being uh, Detroit Become Human. I love the whole concept of I love like dystopian futures. I love the, <laughs> the concept of like a minority rising up and like taking over so Detroit Become Human and then the third one Red Dead Redemption Red Dead Redemption 2 like I uh, beat that a week ago and holy crap that game was so much fun uh, me and my number one this year uh, I'm pretty sure Ian smirking over there knows what mine is Spider-Man <laughs> uh, I do have a bias obviously I've been a Spider-Man fan since I was a kid uh, so I am today obsessive almost mm-hmm. a borderline obs- actually full obsessive probably <laughs> uh, I love Spider-Man love him to death and I think the way he was actually because my main fear when I first saw this game was that was happening, I'm like, man, it's probably gonna be like mediocre as fuck. See, I, uh, and that was my main fear because I probably like, yeah, it's good, but not like just because because you're just you, you're you're used to the previous. Yes, I played Amazing Spider-Man two at least three times. But then before. you saw that there's an actual studio. Like, well, I don't yeah. want to say actual, but there's the a Knox is a talent studio. They're just you know, it doesn't hold. Like, like I was gonna say, like, I was watching an interview with like the uh, the director for Brian and Tar. Yeah, and, like it was the kind of funny one. He's like. Like their their concept going in for how to do the swinging is like make it like people remember the PS2 one. Yeah, being, PS2 one actually kind of tough. Yeah, it and doesn't it's hold up. Hard but to pe- control. But people remember it being amazing because it was the first thing to do really like that. Yeah, and it was the first thing to make you feel like Spider Man. And so, 
I will say the story, I did not like the story. It was kind of very cookie cutter. I can see that. Yeah. Uh, but the combat was amazing. I, I was into the story. Um, mainly, it was weird because they built up. Uh, I mean, we're probably getting too hard having to Spider Man. Uh, but I'll just say, like. <laughs> what? Uh, what? <laughs> Uh, the best part was Peter Parker and Mary Jane. Uh, the overall plot yeah. was... I love this version of Mary Jane. I love this version of Peter enough Parker. with a surprise character that we probably shouldn't talk about. It's been three months. Yeah, but still. I don't want to... You never know who the three people you said listen to this. <laughs> Spider-Man yet. Justin, have you beat it? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Spider-Man, very good. Uh, my second one uh, technically came out in 2017. But you know what? I, it came I, I, out I, 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 I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, that, out, that let's, hear, let's hear what he has to it say. It came out on the Switch in 2018, and it was the first my first experience with the game. It's Hollow Knight. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it's on sale right now. Should I pick it up? Yes. Okay. Oh my god, I've never I played it. Heavily in love with this game. Okay. I, I haven't finished it this year yet. Um, I'm like 40 plus hours in. It's like 20 bucks, and I still have two expansions to go through. Have you played Dead Cells? Uh, no, but I want to. I haven't. Uh, but Hollow Knight, goddamn, it's my number two. It's so good. If Spider Man wasn't Spider Man, it'd probably be your number one. Uh, <laughs> and that's an indie title. That's impressive. Yeah, that's Hollow Knight is amazing in every sense of the word. I love it again to death. Uh, very cool. And then my number three would probably uh, be God of War. Uh, mm. I, I, I want, maybe I should try playing through it again, or at least playing again, because I had some issues that me and talked about that I really sat out and thought about. But I still think they kind of hold true. Some of my issues with God of War, just sometimes the combat was too frustrating to me, but not in a way that I felt like it was my fault. Like there was times where I got really upset with it, um, and, that, and I felt like it wasn't it wasn't my skill. It was because the game screwed me over. See, I feel the opposite. Of, like the reason it's not in my top three is because I know that I suck. <laughs> I know. I know. I accepted defeat early on. Yeah, I had to switch it to easy about like halfway through. But then, like once you like th- this isn't a spoiler, but like once you get to the Blades of Chaos, like like you fight with the axe for so long, and then you get the Blades of Chaos. Once I got the Blades of Chaos, I put it, put it back to normal. I, I, I have a good sense of when I know, like, okay, I suck at this, and it's my fault. But sometimes it was God <laughs> You of suck at like, everything. <laughs> exactly. But sometimes it got of <laughs> it was like, okay, I, I did everything I could to do a thing that I wanted to do, and it still didn't let me do it. And then I felt upset, because that was the game that was not me. Uh, hmm. Maybe I should try it again. Uh, I don't know. I just remember those are the thoughts that stuck in my mind with God of War. But it's still really great. Amazing game. 10 out of 10, 9, 10. Uh, for me, uh, I just go quickly through it. Uh, number three, I would say Spider Man. Uh, Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just, they already talked about it. It's, it's, a, it's a good uh, game. Uh, I have some gripes with it, but I have my gripes with every game, really. Same. Uh, so i uh, probably be number three. Number two is Super Smash Brothers uh, Ultimate. Um, it's. It's Smash Brothers, like you can't, you can't <laughs> fuck that up. What's wrong? Like with you, you really can't. Like Smash I mean, Brothers. you could fuck it up, but oh yeah, but you're not going to. By the way, Smash Brothers players, take a shower. Uh, <laughs> there's a reminder. Oh, uh, that's not just fighting game people in general. Uh, but uh, you yeah, know, it's Smash Brothers. I'm gonna keep playing it for the next couple years with friends and play it by myself. I still uh, I, have. I, I, I'm very into the online and everything. It's a lot. Of I fun. don't want to spend twenty bucks just to get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't have online yet. Oh, gotcha. And uh, yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. But books. Uh, I know. my number one is is God of War. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, me being a PlayStation guy, I've always grown up with the uh, PlayStation franchises. And besides Jack and Daxter, my my next favorite PlayStation franchise has always been God of War. Mm-hmm. Um, it's what kind of got me into that hack and slash like genre and everything. And even so, like I don't know how I was going to take on the game because it was very more of a modern take on it. It's yeah, not, it's not very God of War ish. But there are still parts of it that made it feel like a God of War. And I think, uh, for me, what something I like it about it the most, uh, for me, the games that stick with me the longest are the ones that grab me with their characters and story. And I think what God of War did the best is probably, uh, in terms of the story, it's just so well-paced. There's always something happening. Uh, there's always a very... Uh, well, divide between its gameplay and its and and its and its sort and its put down your controller moments. Um, There's a good the, the 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 combat just felt there was more oomph to it. Uh, I like the God of Wars, but I, I actually don't want God of War to go back to what it was just because I like how much more diverse and uh, much more you can do with this new combat they have. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like, I, I, they they added like this God of War, uh, this uh, Dark Souls ish like type of combat, and then. With all what you can do with the with the weapons and everything is it's a lot of fun and uh, like I said, what they changed is probably what made it a, a game of the year contender. Oh yeah, it's extremely good. I feel like I <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, so uh, they're not gonna go back. Y'all are crazy. Games of the year, all right. Blinks, Gex, Fortnite, <laughs> and Croc Two. What Don't at me. Blinks? Good night, everybody. <laughs>
What even is Blinks? I actually ever heard of that. It was an Xbox, original Xbox exclusive. It was their, hey, we got the Halo fans, but we got to get the kids in on Xbox. You like Mario? So we're going we're gonna to make a cute little cat. Characters. Oh yeah, okay. I remember the time yeah. sweeper. I never played it. <laughs> yeah, no, no one did. All right, now to twenty nineteen. Oh, we're wrapping up. Well, I don't know. I, I, no, we're not wrapping up. Did we not do twenty nineteen predictions? No, yeah, no, no. <laughs> not, it was only, I think it was only me. Yeah, and everybody else just kept talking. How, many, how long have we do this? An hour? Or what? About an hour and a half. You want right. to stop? Uh, yeah. No? All right, let's close out with this. Let's go. Let's close out with. Uh, what are you going to read, you you read a poem? No, no. What, 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 a sentence. What, what, okay, just just so we said it. We said it here on the first day. What's your most anticipated about. games? Like th- top three, top three, Go. Kingdom Hearts three, uh, Jump Force, and crap. I don't know what else is coming out. I no. thought like I was about to say Croc two for some <laughs> reason. Yes, I don't know what's coming out. Off the top of my head. All right, I'll do. Uh, I'll say Kingdom Hearts three. Crap, I, w- I would say Jump Force two. Um, <laughs> uh, definitely the Yoshi game and Metroid Prime four. But I know I'm being. I know I'm being. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. I, I would say FF7 I'm, remake. But I've got I know a bit of a pipe dream with those. With at least with Metroid. Um, I will we'll rent. And now that I remember, I will, I will rent Anthem from Redbox, and then oh, from is there. That coming out, is yeah, that coming out this year? Month. Yeah, that's February. That's next month. Yeah. 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 That, Why have I seen next to nothing about Anthem? Because uh, EA's afraid of, <laughs> of <laughs> the internet striking back again. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, in that case, I'll give Anthem a shot. I'm going to wait until I yeah, hear a review. Yeah, I'm not right. touching that. It's very right. interesting, to be honest. Okay. Okay. Cool. okay. Uh, mine, mine's special. Uh, I got Luigi Mansion 3, hopefully. That ain't coming out this year. I, pray to, I guess two special mentions would be Luigi Mansion 3 and Outer World, which was shown at uh, the Game Awards. That looked amazing. That was really cool. Uh, like Bo- that style. How about Borderlands 3? Oh fuck! If that happens this year, <laughs> god damn, I, that would be my what's what's anticipated if they announced it was actually happening this year. Uh, but the ones that are confirmed that I'm interested in are both by ID, <laughs> Rage Two, and Doom Eternal. Okay, uh, mm-hmm. both look really fun. Both are about shooting coo, dudes. Coo, 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 coo. Ian, did you say? I forgot. Oh no, I was. Uh, oh, you already said. Yeah, he said his. Oh, mine. Uh, Resident yeah. Evil 2. I, I, well, I'll get I'll get Kingdom Hearts three out of the way. Of course, I'm waiting for that. You like Kingdom Hearts? I know that. What about Kingdom Hearts four? <laughs> huh? Shut the fuck up this year also. <laughs> that'll be um, that'll be our that'll be our ten year podcast but, anniversary. Uh, We're talking about Kingdom Hearts three. Besides so that, uh, game comes out literally five days away from it. It's Resident Evil two. Uh, that was my like my game of the show for E three. That, that was. Huh? When's it come out? Uh, January twenty fifth. Okay, this is five days from now. I was like, wait a minute, what? No, no, it comes out. Five, it comes five days from uh, Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts. Hearts. It comes out the Friday before Kingdom Hearts. Okay. That's so yeah, so uh, that's and then my num. I I'll probably say my number one. Like I, that, I'm not even trying to like. I've been waiting what 13, 14 years for Kingdom Hearts three, but my most anticipated game, without a doubt, is Devil May Cry five. No, oh, yeah, that is, yeah. That, it's just the style and mm-hmm. everything about the game. That it's just so me. Rocking like it just lot. speaks to me. Yeah, it's just the the, <laughs> the metal music, the 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 humor, the the, the, arm. the hot country mechanic, <laughs> that, <laughs> the, 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 the gameplay. Sorry. Like just like it's just like the small things where like you can mid combo, you can taunt, and it gives you extra bonus point, a uh, bonus of uh, towards your score if you taunt mid. Like just stupid stuff like that just speaks to me. And then the aesthetic, like I, I like my melodramatic like emo looking boys so <laughs> and then it's just the combat this is the thing i'm more excited for because i like to something i do a lot is i i like to just put metal music and just go and play like Devil May cry games and just go to the bali platas which is just like kind of like their challenge mode where you just beat up enemies as long as you can and it just it's a lot of fun so probably say yeah Devil May cry 5 is probably my most anticipated without just because everything else that's big doesn't have really like a release date yet so mm-hmm. I don't want to put it on the list yeah I was gonna say like speaking of putting on music like when I was playing Spider-Man like I would just like 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 Echo play 90s hip hop and I have 90s hip hop playing while I'm going around <laughs> playing Spider-Man that's so like cool. what, especially when I'm, yeah, when I'm get, yeah like when I'm like especially because there's a trophy when you have to like walk down and like greet Five Citizen or greet yeah. I just like play 90s hip hop and he's <laughs> just like yeah <laughs> he's just like <laughs> that's actually pretty cool I love that achievement <laughs> Great, great, great. Sneak King is and always will be the best game of the year. Oh, All right, yeah. let's close. Oh, people, close people, if you haven't pooped in 2019, why are you holding on to last year's shit? Did you look that up? Patreon. <laughs> like the first thing on Patreon.com <laughs> slash VGX7. <laughs> Go support the podcast. You can listen to more stupid stories about me and Danny and Ian and other Danny. And My name's Dan. He's Danny. 
Get it right. Dan the Stan the man. I can just Stan. start calling you Danny. It's going to be a thing. Bit King DT yes. no. on Twitter and Instagram. No. All right. All right uh, Danny, follow, don't worry follow me at VGX700 on, on the tweeters uh, and VGX7TV on Twitch. Anybody else want to do a plug real quick before we get out of here? Uh, at Kish Poople on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it'll be like be I think it'll be like at Cash Google at PlayStation Network. K S H P O O P L E. You follow uh, Dan the Brown Man to Mayo <laughs> at Big King D T. Follow me and find out the drunk story of how I got that name. There you go. Uh, mine's uh, Ian S F and then my last name Velez B E L E Z. Fun. And again, that's patreon.com slash VGX7. You can support the podcast so we can actually do this and get paid. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. Or just honestly. We do this out of the goodness of our hearts for you, all five of you. Uh, wow, we got two viewers since the beginning of the show. I know. It's amazing. <laughs> all right. Thanks for this, everybody. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Sorry Peace for out. coughing so much. <laughs>